Hi everyone, this is Nereida La Sirena with Celestial Soul Wellness. And oh my god, can you guys see that? Oh my god, look at look at look at look at shame on me. Okay. Yes, I cheated. A lot of you know, especially my friends and family, know that I've been going through the Gerson Detox Therapy. Not for um, drug or alcohol, and um, well, a little bit for help because I have had a leaky gut syndrome or uh, in the irritable bowel syndrome, and then also too is I used to have uh, fibroids. Okay, I'm uh, very much allergic to gluten. So, uh, it can, uh, but not to the point of celiac disease, but uh, it was uh, terrible. And um, a lot of you know, as a, since I'm a health coach and nutritionist, and a, a nutritionist who's knowledgeable in the primal uh, style, in the um, paleo style, in the macrobiotic style, and in the raw style, okay, and knowing the difference between being a vegan, a vegetarian, and a rawtarian. So, I decided that I just wanted a major cleanse, kind of like a, a tune-up, a major tune-up on a car. You know, you need that, depending on how ragged you drive your car. Sometimes you need it every one and a half years to every five years, okay? And it's very important because our bodies are like a barrel of glass and with time it collects with toxins. And even if we eat, all of a sudden we eat well and the toxins are all the way here, eating well does not necessarily mean the toxins are being released from the body, okay? So every so often we need to cleanse all that toxins out. Okay, and it takes for every year, I mean for, I would say, uh, let me rephrase that, for every decade it takes at least two years eating raw, okay, and not just eating any raw, you got to, certain foods do not mix well with other foods, vegetables and fruits, okay, because you don't want to have, create uh, acid in the body, you want to keep a uh, a pH balance of 7.4 within the body. So a lot of times when people try to self-prescribe, you know, they cause a certain situations. I know um, last week during this uh, wonderful uh, situation, I tried to, I was just having a craving for nuts and um, seeds. And I decided to just have a handful of pumpkin seeds. Boom. Within... 72 hours, because usually that's the body digesting and everything. Voila. Show proof. Uh, it just came out like, shame on uh, Nereida. Look at what she did. The whole world gets to see, you know? And it created an acidic uh, situation within my body. And a lot of times people, you know, they call them cold sores. Uh, it, it's nothing to do with the cold. If we remember that the body has meridians, and if we go on the meridians and see where the breakout happened, okay, where is that mold? That'll tell us which organ is really upset and not functioning well. So, anyway, what we're doing right now today is um, I'm showing off the Norwalk juicer, okay? Because if at any time you want to get healthy, you've got to buy yourself a juicer. That's the number one thing. And there's several different kinds of juicers. I did start off with the centrifugal juicer. That's nice and all, but you don't get the full minerals and vitamins, okay? And you waste a lot of fruits and vegetables, which is a lot of money. So the money you don't want to spend on the juicer, you're going to waste, okay, on the fruits and vegetables. Very important important to remember learn from my mistake okay yep but anyway so um, I'm doing this I'm teaching yoga in a little bit and in an hour I'm leaving so I'm in supplementing really giving myself some good uh, nutrients right here uh, with the juicer okay this is uh, apple carrot and in my other videos, you'll understand that you cannot just drink any kind of juice. You know, you have to think about what it is that you're doing, all right? I cannot just put any kind of gas in my car or any kind of oil or put it in any of the holes. <laughs> you know, excuse the pun for those who have their mind somewhere else. And uh, I'm being literal. I can't put it in any of the car holes there, okay? So we have to be very aware and cautious. And that's very important. Um, uh, 
you know, a lot of people like to help out other people, give them certain tips, yet they're very ignorant in the topic. I mean, sure, I've taken my card, you know, to go get fixed, and I understand there's an alternator, and I understand there's a starter, and I know that sometimes if the card doesn't turn on, it could be the battery, alternator, or starter, or the computer system nowadays, right? But that does not mean I actually know about cars and I could get in that car and fix it. And that's very important because consider the source of where you're getting your help tips from. Look at the people. Do they project, okay, what they are saying? If they don't walk the talk, okay, then it's best not to follow, all right? It is best to spend a little bit of money and go to a professional. Also, too, is not all eating styles is appropriate for everybody. The human body is different. It has different DNA uh, composites, and it has different cell, uh, cellular memories, too. So what can be working for one person is not necessarily going to be working for another, all right? Those are very things, uh, very important things to consider. That's why the children are a composite of both parents. And if the parents are two different style DNAs, you're going to have a conflict within the child and trying to find which is best, you know. I know that um, uh, my mother, biological mother, uh, is loves her dairy products. She's German. She brought up with bread and cheese, you know. And um, I am lactose intolerant. Can't handle it. Found that my biological father is lactose intolerant too. <laughs> you know, so go figure. And and if the parents are not aware of that, they're going to impose their eating habits because they innocently. That's what worked for them. And, you know, it works for one person as a parent. You think, oh, this should work for my child without taking into account that the child is also coming from another source. You know, so please be aware of that too. Okay, so remember, the more we eat uh, whole foods and, and from scratch, the healthier we are. Every time we offer something that's in a bag, in a box, pre-made to someone else, that's not showing love. That's saying, hey, this is poison and I really don't love you. Oh, but you're so, that's so harsh. That is not true. That is actually what is going on, even if those weren't the intentions. And that is very, very important to remember in this day and age here in the United States, because it's different. In different countries, our gluten is different. Our gluten is GMO. Other countries, I can eat gluten and it doesn't bother me at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. So taking an account of that and being aware of the place and time, the space dimension we are in is how we are being affected. Okay. So because we have all those preservatives and additives and they're, you know, like those, uh, I see people, you know, like the macaroni and cheese has that yellow and red additive in there that's very addictive for a lot of people. I know I was a big uh, macaroni and cheese, loved it, Taco Bell person, um, cheddar cheese person, uh, Cheetos, not Red Hot Cheetos, just Cheeto, Cheetos. That, I had no idea that that yellow and red tint dye in there was so addictive. Uh, to, to release that was, was going through a withdrawal, like a drug withdrawal. And a lot of people don't realize that we have food addictions and they are just as unhealthy, unhealthy as illegal drugs, okay, and alcohol and prescription legal drugs, all right? Uh, they are just as bad, but because we eat it together as a society, we're saying, oh, it can't be that bad, you know? Oh, but it's being advertised, you know? So it must be okay, you know? Um, and especially if we are not learned and, and educated in that, especially in our society nowadays, we used to have a one-income family and the one of the parents stayed at home and they took care of the home functioning and the health and the foods, you know, for the family. It was easier, but now you got everybody going and so we have, they're doing these fast food restaurants and it's like, well, that's sounds good let's do this and you really hope you're doing the best but you're not sure either for the children and yourself 
and at the same time you're poisoning yourself and every time you go out together and say hey let's let's go do this let's go do that you know with uh, eating all these different cultural foods and I'm not saying other cultural foods are bad what I'm saying is those cultures had centuries had lifetimes of evolving and accust being accustomed to those foods okay so what happens here in this country we are bombarded by different kinds and yet I mean in the past uh, 50 years and we haven't even had a lifetime to get accustomed to one uh, different cultural foods and now we're trying to get accustomed to many and the body is just not having it it cannot evolve that quickly all right and so we break down and that is very important do you know that any chronic uh, pain sicknesses illness you know can be uh, healed through eating raw and detoxifying, it has to be the will of the person to really want to get better, okay? And um, remember that medication is really, really not in uh, trying to cure people here in the United States. It's uh, really prolonging the process of your death, okay? It's not even allowing you to live because you're barely trying to function and, and have a conversation. But you're not active in being a participant in life and really enjoying. So those are things to really consider. And I know I'm going to get a lot of harsh comments and feedback on that, but it is is what it is okay um, you're more than welcome to to give those comments just do please come with a, a background of education if you're not sure go ahead and review any of the doctor's curriculum here in the United States of how many nutrition classes they take before becoming a doctor and how soon those uh, prescription companies start getting involved with those pre-med students all right most here in the United States do not take any more than three nutrition nutritional classes, okay? Um, I have had close to 20 because of the different styles that I have learned. So, now we're going to continue here, okay? Woohoo! This is the Norwalk Juicer, so I'm not exactly the most techie person. I'm a health and healer, okay? So, health coach, nutritionist, and healer, so I'm always... I apologize and thank you for your patience when it comes to my technical abilities here. All right, so I'm going to try and oh, I cannot turn this around, can I? Hmm. You guys are all laughing, going, what is she doing now? So I'm going to turn my stand around and you can see. So this is the Norwalk juicer. Can you guys see that? All right. And um, this is a beautiful, hefty baby. All right. It is uh, the one the Gerson Therapy advises and most places do too. It is a masticating uh, juicer, not a centrifugal juicer. The reason why you want a masticating juicer is because a masticating juicer really takes out and exprimes all the nutrients and vitamins uh, because the way it cuts into the vegetables and fruits cells. Very important because centrifugal juicers don't do it that way. So you're not going to get enough. So when you go to the juice bars, yes, Jamba Juice, all those quick juices, all those Ask them, are they using a masticating juicer or a centrifugal juicer? Do know you are not, uh, if they're using a centrifugal juicer, and if they do not know, then it is a centrifugal juicer, okay? That in the quantity, there is less nutrients. So it's good to go to those juice bars. If uh, for last minute, I did it yesterday. I had to go to downtown, do life scans for, you know, a cup, uh, for a job, uh, for teaching yoga and um, didn't have time to get home and, and do my juice, so it was better than nothing for the meantime, but it's not something to be done on a daily basis, okay? Now, um, that, that, that is said, be aware of that, okay? There's a big difference. Most of those juice, 99% uh, of the juices that you see in the markets, if they've been there already and they are not in a hermetic mason um, jar, they have probably oxidized, meaning also the nutrients and um, minerals uh, have dissipated, okay? So be aware of that. Getting those naked green juices and all those is not the same whatsoever as juicing right away. Okay, so I this is an apple orange. I mean, it's orange colored, but it's an apple carrot uh, juice that I am making. And um, as you'll see here, so 
Here's the chute where I put things in already, and it came out here. So when I turn this on, okay, I know I started without you guys. Kind of second thought there. It comes out over here. And then what happens is, you see this? So I'm going to take this out. And we're going to open it up. Nice little burrito. Good that I'm Mexican, that I know how to do wrap one. <laughs> I'm just being uh, facetious, okay? So when it comes out, it looks like this. It's very, very thin. It's been squished out. Um, it has uh, no nutrients and minerals. It has been said over and over in interviews that you try and give this to an animal, even a horse who loves its carrots, it will not eat it because it can tell it is nothing there, okay? Um, it's as bad as eating a Dorito. So, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in the cloth. You can see this. Remember in the olden times when uh, they used uh, fruits and vegetables and flowers, you know, to uh, make the color and uh, dyes at the time? Well, now we know why, because this cloth is actually white. You see, the Norwalk cloths, okay? And with time, it turns orange. And you can use them for a while, reuse them, you know, after you uh, just rinse them out, you never use soap because soap can get uh, stuck in the fibers and interfere and kill the nutrients. So then I'm going to wrap it up, okay, uh, the food here, the, the residue there. And I'm going to pop it in over here. So now you see, I popped it in there. Can you guys see that clearly? Okay, and now I'm gonna bring it out. Now this has a, it does uh, spill out. That's why you see me wearing an apron, okay? And um, here we go, so it's gonna go up. Hopefully it uh, doesn't squirt onto the camera on the phone here. So it's a two-part juicer, masticating. All right, you see all that? Hot oh, and delicious, isn't it? The waiter gets it all out. And then what happens is, look, it's still coming out. Oh, that adds up, you know, that adds up. You know, the little dribble is important. Mmm, delicious. And then what we do is, um, just to make sure we got everything out, is I, uh, so here is that residue tortilla, okay? So I flip it and do it again, and I put it back to get, um, right there so I can uh, squeeze out more let me put it back in and in the meantime I'm gonna I'm thirsty so I'm gonna pour myself some Ooh, carrot apple okay now of course today I've already had my lime tea I've had my uh, my vitamins, my shot of apple cider vinegar, my shot of flaxseed oil, and uh, my uh, celery juice. And so here we go. And oh, this is so delicious. Mm. Oh, let's see if any more comes out from this second time. you see it's good to press it a second time to really get it all out why not you pay for those fruits and vegetables right and this juicer is really easy to clean but anyway whatever you do do know that um, whatever uh, health style whatever um, eating style you do choose to go to a professional okay really ask make sure they're doing a client intake form okay don't just take information from any source whatsoever it's good to hear and then do your research or go to uh, someone that you know that um, has been referred as a, a professional in their job 
Okay, look at their body too. Look at how they are. Also know that women can guide men and men can guide women, all right? Uh, to not always uh, take that to account. I got a little bit of OCD here going, I need to clean as I'm uh, talking. So, um, always I would like to thank, you know, my cousin, Jose Alberto Rojas, for always lending a wonderful, wonderful place to be able to do these videotapes. And thank you for the Rojas family, you know, it's on their property and their support and love. Um, and that in their kindness and generosity and you guys if you liked any part of this found that any part of this video was informative okay I really would appreciate that you do a thumbs up share it with other people and you know just so that other people can get educated because uh, a lot of us think we know just because we have a body doesn't mean we know exactly how to treat it just because I have a car doesn't mean I know how to fix it right uh, I hope that I am putting in the most uh, the best uh, gas possible and treating it right, but a lot of times, you know, we don't. So people have the mistake thinking, oh, what's my body? I know what's best. A lot of times we don't. And we need to be, I mean, even sometimes we want to cheat. Woohoo! And just because, you know, um, we cheat a little doesn't mean we don't know. So if it's Wednesday, hopefully I see you at Rosie's Dog Beach in Long Beach in the uh, state of California. Free yoga, free meditation. We got companies showing up. Wave wolf. We got the wolf. Uh, even though I'm on the Gerson therapy, he's on the paleo and primal style, just so you know. He has uh, put his uh, pictures of the meals there on Instagram, so please see his uh, work also. It is great. He just came back from the Tattoo Academy, and we're just really proud that he is at 17 years old. Uh, into the lifestyle of health and very active, uh, you know, with his activities as an Aztec dancer and tattoo artist. So anyway, that's just a mommy doing the typical thing, being uh, sharing her uh, offspring's uh, wonders, right? Well, anyway, so again, you like any of this, please support and um, you can find me at www.neredalasirena.com or www.celestialsoulwellness. Remember, I'm available for special occasions as an ordained uh, minister. Love to do weddings, have been there for helping people pass over also, and hand fasting ceremonies, baptismals, also too for your astrological needs and health needs and healing. So please visit. Chasito.